Hello friends, welcome back. Today we will be learning something very exciting. That is Python integrated with Excel. That is indeed a game changer. Recently, Microsoft Excel announced that it has integrated Python within Microsoft Excel. Now, this is a real deal and will take the world of data analysis into the next level. In this tutorial, I would explain you how you could enable Python feature within Microsoft Excel. But before explaining those steps, first let me give you of demonstrations of the actual use and how you could leverage this Python functionality within Microsoft Excel with the help of real time examples. So, without wasting any time, let's dive into the real time examples. So, this is my Excel sheet, and I'm going to show you two examples. The first example is filtering, and the second is prediction. Like with the help of Python and machine learning, we could do a lot of predictions. So, I will be taking an example of the prediction as well. So, let's first begin with this example of filtering so now this is my data set like if you can see like this data set contains uh, details about some apartments like uh, what is the area the number of rooms the age above the uh, of the apartment the price and the city where it is located in now for example if you want to filter some data based on the minimum and the maximum price so if you see column g and h over here i have the minimum and the maximum price so if i change it for example from eight hundred thousand dollars to four hundred thousand dollars like this and now within few seconds you saw the data over here got changed like from this main data set it was able to filter out based on the filter criteria this filtering which you are seeing has been implemented using the newly added python feature within microsoft excel with the addition of python within microsoft excel it becomes very easy and convenient to create these kind of filter criteria i will explain you each and every step as to how we can create our own custom filter criteria. Before that, let's take another example of prediction. Now, this is again similar data set. We have the area, the number of rooms, the age of the apartment, and some prices. If you want to make a prediction, like uh, if you have uh, an apartment with three rooms, the age of the apartment is 10 years old, but the area is like 800 square feet, here it will show you what could be the predicted value similarly like if you have to you have to just change these input parameters like for example if the age up of the apartment is just two years it is a relatively a newer apartment uh, the price most likely would be higher and you could just see the price it has increased it is predicting that the price would be a bit more so with the help of python within the excel we could use the machine learning functionality and make such predictions I hope you found the demos interesting. Now let's get into more details and how we can implement similar features. So let's first take the example of filtering. To create these kind of filters with the help of Python within Excel, it is very simple. Let me explain you how we can achieve this. So the first step is like how we can invoke the Python functionality within Excel. For that, you have to select any cell where you want to invoke the Python functionality. You have to write equal to py and tab you see this has changed this is the indication that python is now enabled you are within python mode and now you could write the python syntax so i have enabled the python mode at the cell f17 so one prerequisite make sure in whichever cell you are enabling the python mode it is to the right and it has set else this python mode may not work so once you have enabled this if you go on the top in the formula bar if you click on this drop down this space is like your editor you, here you could write a fully functional python code also another thing this python mode may not be right now available in your workbooks though if you go into the website the official website here they have the requirements like the prerequisites they have mentioned like uh, to which versions of microsoft office this python feature is enabled also you should be in the beta channel when you say how you could enable the beta channel for that you have to go to your excel within files go to accounts within accounts if you would see here microsoft 365 insider and here since i have already signed up for beta if you have not signed up for beta here you could click this option and it will give you an option to change your channel and you select the beta so in a in a subsequent release the python feature 
will get installed on your Microsoft Excel. So these were the prerequisites. Now let's go into the interesting part where we would be actually implementing this feature with the help of Python within Microsoft Excel. So the first step is we need to create a data frame. So data frame will represent this data which we have. So for that, what you have to do is like is equal to py tab python mode is enabled now i'll select my data so this is my data and all the rows within the data so from a1 to e10 this is my data in python language this is called a data frame so what i'll do is i'll assign a variable called df is equal to so whenever i want to refer to this data frame in future i would be using the variable df so what happens when i implement this formula to implement the formula generally in excel we just hit enter but since this is the python mode enter would not work if you just hit enter it will take you to the next line of the code we want to implement this formula for that you will use control enter so once i do that the python formula will get processed and here if you would see uh, let me just minimize this at this cell f17 now it is showing a data frame so what is this data frame if i hover my mouse over here and just click on this you see it is representing the data which was available here like whatever data we selected it is showing a snapshot of this data so this snapshot of this data is stored in this variable called df now another important thing if you see to the left of this formula py there is a small drop down if I click on this here are the two options which I have the Python object so this is the Python object which is representing the data frame and other the another option is Excel value if I select Excel value it will once again show the values which were part of the data frame so these are the two options but I am more interested in the Python object so I will keep it as a Python object over here and since we have assigned this entire data frame with the variable called df in my next step I would be referring to this entire data set with the help of this variable df let's move on to the next step the next step is we have to actually create the filter the price filter the, with, with the minimum and the maximum price so for that I will select another cell and I will write py is equal to py tab python mode gets enabled and i will put something like this so i'll explain you what i have written over here so df is our data frame which represents the entire data set within which i am more interested in the price column since i want to create a filter on the price column then dot between between is the keyword this between keyword is coming from the pandas library so whenever we are using all these data frames and stuff these are being used from the panda libraries uh, you could just search around like if you're not aware of it just uh, just search about it like there are a lot of functions within the pandas libraries which we could use it over here so i use between and then i provide the minimum and the maximum values when i implement this formula when i hit control enter let's see what happens you could see it has returned a series let me once again minimize it if i click on here so it is showing me the places where this condition of minimum value hundred thousand dollars and maximum value seven hundred thousand it gets fulfilled or if it is false so based on our data wherever it is true it is marking it as true and wherever it is not true it is marking it as false so logically this is showing the correct values but if you want to see the actual filter working i will convert this series into a data frame to do that what i'll do is like i'll just use df open square bracket and close the square bracket if i hit control enter now let's see what happens so here you have the data frame and if you want to watch the actual filtered output just convert this from a python object to an excel value if I do that, within a few seconds, you get the filtered output. So this is how the filter is working. So it was the cell F19 where we have placed this formula. And in this case, we have hard coded these values as 100,000 and 700,000. So we can easily change 
these hard-coded values to the values which we have over here in these cells G and H. So in the same formula here, instead of hard-coding these values, I'm removing this 100,000 and selecting this cell. So it is showing Excel of G4. Similarly, for 700,000, I am replacing it with H4. So once I do that, and now I hit Control Enter. Now I will get the filtered results based on whatever input criteria I enter in the cells G4 and H4. If I change something, for example, from the maximum price 1.2 million, if I change it to 500,000, tab out, the filters will work and see now it is retrieved only one row of data. And this column where you, are, you could see zero, that is the index. So in our case, this is the first row of the data set. If you see over here, this is exactly matching with this data. So once we have the filtered results, like you could just do some formatting, you could uh, create borders as I've created over here. Uh, you could create uh, grids and color it. That's up to you. But this is how the filtering is working. So it's very easy and efficient since now Python is integrated within Excel. Within few minutes, you could create your customized filters using the steps which I just showed. So this was the filtering example. Now let's quickly take a look at the prediction example. Uh, here we are trying to predict the house price based on these input parameters. So uh, here to predict the price, uh, we are using certain machine learning algorithms. I'm not an expert on the machine learning algorithms, but for demonstration purpose, I'll tell you like how uh, I have implemented one of the machine learning algorithms. So this is my data set. Uh, it starts from column B4 until here, uh, which is E13. So at this cell G4, I have implemented the Python code for it. And if I show you this, this is the code, this small four or five lines of code is actually doing the predictions. So uh, I'm using a linear model, which comes from the sklearn uh, library. So just use the script as is. Uh, in the next line, we are defining the data set. So since our data is from B4 to E13, uh, the entire data set over here, uh, we are defining it over here as a data frame. And now, based on our input criteria. So within the data frame, based on the area, the number of rooms and age. So this is how within the data frame, we are including these three columns. So use the variable DF and within square brackets, another square bracket, which will have all these columns. And the output is the price. So based on this input criteria, we need to predict the price. So here we are using the data frame with the column price uh, make sure the syntax the syntaxes are all correct else it may lead to problems so refer the code and use it as is and then we are creating another variable called reg and here we are using the linear model dot linear regression and finally in the last line we are using reg dot fit the first parameter is the input so this is the input and the last parameter is the output which is the actual prediction so once this code is in place if i do a control enter let's see what happens so if you see at cell g4 uh, let me minimize this you could see the linear regression has been applied and if i click over here it is just showing like uh, it is just giving some internal information but the most important thing is like the linear regression has now been applied and we could use it to get our predictions based on the inputs. So if I once again see my inputs are area, rooms and age. And based on these three parameters, I am asking my algorithm to predict the output, which is price. So in the next step, I will make use of this variable reg to make some predictions. So let me minimize this and at cell i4. I will do an equal to py tab and put this formula. So the syntax is the variable which we had used earlier, reg dot predict and the three input parameters. I am putting the area as 400, the number of rooms as one and the age of the apartment as 15. So uh, make sure the syntaxes are correct. I'm not an expert on machine learning and pandas. So whatever I have learned, I'm just trying to implement those. 
so make sure you just read about it and try to create correct syntaxes else it will give problems so once you put this formula over here with the input parameters do a control enter and if it, everything is fine then it is giving me something called in the array so we need to see the actual value so here in the drop down select the excel value and here you go so now this is the predicted price and as we had seen in the previous example we should not use hard coded values so that we are able to change it so you could replace these hard coded values with some references for example here i could replace the 400 with the value which is here coming from g9 so to do that once again i will go into the formula mode i will delete 400 from here replace it with this excel of g9 similarly for the second parameter i will replace it with this cell and finally the third parameter i'll remove it and use it over here once it is ready hit control enter and you are done so now since the values over here were 803 and 2 so i had implemented this formula earlier here in this cell j of 9 so it is showing the same value which is there in j of 9 since the same formula has been applied at i of 4 as well so you change this and automatically the predictions will change and this is how you could uh, use the power of python within the excel workbooks remember this is just the beginning if you want to read some documentation around it just refer to the official website i have just started doing that there would be a number of updates coming in and i can predict that this would be a real game changer so for all the data analysts this is going to be huge hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful if you like my videos i would request you to please subscribe to my channel so that you'd be updated with the latest videos i would be uploading guys thanks for joining i'll see you soon